Here I'm going to show you an amazing formula formatting trick that will make your life so, so much easier, especially when formulas get complex. So let us begin by zooming in. And you can get this file from the regex formula tutorial that I made. Link will be in the description of the video. And let us make a simple if statement here. And this if statement is just going to check if the length of this cell is greater than five or not. And if it is, we're going to output good. And if it isn't, we're going to output bad. Just a very simple if statement. And that's how you make it, right? Life is good. Everybody's happy. But you can actually, if you find a formula just a little bit difficult, or you want to make your life a little bit easier, you can put it on separate lines. So equals if, let's do open parentheses, and now for the first argument, hit alt, enter. And it puts us on a new line within the same cell. And we can start typing out the first argument just like we did before. So a len a2 greater than five, comma, to close up the first argument, alt enter for the second argument. What do I want to output if it's true? Good, comma, alt enter to go for the third argument, and bad. And I'm going to do alt enter and put the closing parentheses on another line. But of course, it's up to you if you want to attach it to the end or not. However, when things get more complex, it's better to put the closing parentheses down here by himself. And you'll see when I hit enter, we get a working formula just like we did before. Let's make this less than five and both turn to bad. So when I double click this, it looks like that. And when I double click this, it looks like that. And you can just click down here and use the arrow keys. And when I do this going up and down, notice the different arguments are highlighted right here. So it shows you on which argument you're working right now. I go down one. We go to the second argument, down another one, third argument. And this formula here is pretty simple, but when things get much, much more complex, like I'm going to show you in just a moment, this can be so helpful. And before I get to the complex example, there are two things I want to mention. You don't have to put each argument on its own line. You could, let's say you think this is simple enough to go on one line, you could just back it up and have that on one line. So you have two arguments on one line and then have this, the logical test argument, on its own line. So you can separate it however you want. You should just try and be consistent with your pattern or your system so that when you're going through a big worksheet and you open it up and you see this, you understand what is where. And the other thing is, so if I click here and look to the formula bar, you see the entire formula. But if we do that over here, you only see the first line. So if you use the formula bar a lot to analyze your formulas, this is going to mess with that. And that's one thing to take into consideration. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on separate lines. So click in here and go Alt Enter and have each argument on its own line. And now let's go to the complex example. So if you want to download this file, go to the regex formula tutorial that I did link in the description of this video. And this is the full formula that was made. I'm going to actually go to the right a little bit. This is the full formula. It is a monster of a formula. Now, let us apply the same technique that I just taught you. So we have an AND function here, and the AND function has a bunch of logical tests in it. Here, can you tell which one is which? Not very easily. So let's put them on their own line. Here is the version on its own line, just like this. And I'm going to scroll to the right a little more, and it looks even better. There we go. So we have the AND function here, and you'll notice that when I go down once again, different logical arguments are highlighted, one line for each argument. So I go down one, we get to the first logical argument, but you have to go all the way to the left. So I have to go all the way to the start of the line in order to see that happen. So I'm here for logical argument one, then two, three, four, all the way down, so that every line here is its own argument and it is very complex, yes, but I showed you in the previous tutorial for this how to build this guy. I just didn't show you how to put it on its own line individually like this. So that's it. That's how you make your complex formulas or any formula that is a little difficult for you or has multiple arguments. You make it much easier to read and follow. Just break up the arguments on their own line using Alt-Enter within the cell.